Dubai doesn't let you forget Dubai. Everything they do is reaching for the stars. Dubai takes everything around the world and just does it on a much bigger scale. You can get really great food for under a dollar to really high-end expensive meals. But at the core of it, it's just delicious. Whenever we ask friends where we should go, Ravi is number one on their list. It's Pakistani food, although there was a little bit of Chinese, Chinese influence. influence in one of the dishes. And I saw Bourdain not use utensils here, so I'm gonna stick with that. Kind of one of the best parts of this meal is this bread, right? Everything's pretty intense. But it's really spicy, but it's not heat spice, it's curries, it's cumin. Local house restaurant. The menu says hunt to eat. We are having here a, a camel burger. Camel burger. It's a camel meat from a camel burger. Actually, it's really good. Yeah, it tastes like good. Like, yeah, it's not gamey at all. It's spiced, isn't it? It's like white pepper or something, huh? It was juicy, it was charbroiled, and honestly, it was pretty good. Carnival, the new modernist cuisine restaurant here in Dubai. One of the most trendy restaurants right now. That serves modern Indian cuisine. Everything is playful. Oh my God, you guys look at what's coming right now. Sangria hanging from a tree. A cheese coliseum. Indian street food served to you out of a toolbox. Really what they're trying to do is tell the story of where some of this food comes from. And for dessert, they very simply put dessert the Elenio way. I worked at Alenia for almost four years, so of course I had to see what that was. I almost feel like I'm supposed to be helping. Thank great, you so much. Thank you. That was great. Oh my God, that was so good. Atmosphere is at the top of the Burj Khalifa. Tallest building in the world. You're whisked up to the 124th floor. It's the most luxurious food that you can get. The execution is not so simple, but I like it because it's got very clean flavors and it's got quite a good balance. But the star of the show here is not the food or the drinks. What you end up spending your money on is the view. We watch the sunset, enjoying some cocktails, which is, you know, is how you imagine your vacation to be. So an hour outside the city, in the middle of the desert, there's this sort of medieval times-esque restaurant called Al Hadira. The chef at Al Hadira, he's this incredibly charismatic guy. This is the local or golf area. He has a very signature dish there, a spice and herb rubbed lamb that's whole roasted in this underground fire pit. There's a lot of theatrics to it. What world am I living in that I'm holding a falcon? Food is really, really good. There's a kebab station, there's this crab slide, belly dancers, and guys spinning for hours. It's just this really exciting show. Dubai is very international. There are so many different types of cuisine here. You could satisfy really any craving. 